Paranormal Activity is a 2009 supernatural found footage horror film written and directed by Oren Pelly. Who I will apologize to because I think I just totally fucked up his name. It was thanks to this film that we saw a huge surge in the amount of found footage films that came out afterwards because the film was extremely successful despite only having a $15,000 budget. The film story revolves around a young couple, Katie and Mika as they are plagued by increasingly strange and malevolent occurrences around their suburban home. Yep, that's it. That's the plot. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. I'm just kidding. All I meant by that was that there's really not much of a plot to this film. It really is literally just that. So what I'm actually going to talk about, instead of going through the whole plot of a film like I usually do, because there isn't much of one to speak of in this movie, I already summed it up in, I think, a sentence, is exactly why something that comes off as being extremely bare bones, manages to be effective. In an age of horror films that are mostly visual and very fucking sparse on the substance, it's nice to see a return to subtle scares that made classic horror films like The Haunting so great. Oh Jesus, not that one, this one! Since this film is so heavily reliant on its characters' reactions and dialogue to progress the story, the biggest make-or-break factor in this film is its characters. And I must say, Katie Featherston and Mika Sloat did a great job. Both their performances are fantastic, and their chemistry comes off as very natural and organic. You believe that this is a real couple. And that's very important, seeing as how pretty much the movie's focus is just on these two and how they react to the things that are happening around them. Being able to sympathize with the protagonists and fear for their safety during intense sequences is a very important part of storytelling, regardless of the medium it's presented through. Because if you have unlikable characters, and nobody gives a shit about them, then nobody's gonna give a shit what happens to them. Now to talk about the entity that is hounding our poor couple. At first we get some subtle things like lights flickering, odd noises, and doors moving. However, things quickly start turning more demonic, as Mika and Katie are jolted awake by an inhuman scream one night, and then Katie starts showing signs of abnormal behavior, appearing in trance-like states several times. And one night, after sprinkling some talcum powder in the hall, they discover a trail of inhuman footprints leading up to the attic, where Mika finds a partially burnt picture of a young Katie that was thought to be lost in a house fire that happened when she was a young girl. Pretty much the universal sign for get the fuck out of the house! But they don't, and then things turn violent. So naturally, they still don't vacate the premises, I really don't know why, and the final sequence is exactly the outcome you'd expect. And while I do think that this film does deserve to be praised for what it accomplished, it's not without its flaws. In particular, for a film that did a great job at utilizing its scares in a very subtle and restrained way, why the Ouija board scene? Not only does it not fit, but it also raises the questions of, if the demon started a fucking fire in your living room, why the hell didn't you leave? Another major issue I have is the jump scare ending. Why? It completely comes off as tacked on and forced. The original end to the film featured a much lengthier sequence that fits nicely with the overall tone of the film, instead of this sequel teasing baby needs a new franchise crap. Yeah, the reason this jarring garbage happened was because the production company that was going to release the film had them reshoot the ending because, well, you know, the original one wasn't scary. Because, you know, Hollywood production companies, they know scary. And overall, while it might have been overhyped as balls, Paranormal Activity is still a pretty great little creepy supernatural horror flick. It manages to accomplish this task by utilizing the lost art of subtlety. So I recommend anyone who hasn't seen this film, the original, Check it out, it's subtle, it's creepy, and you can even watch the original intended ending, which I personally think fits the film far fucking better. And in case anybody was curious, no, I don't believe in ghosts.